Everyone look up and find your star. My name is Sadie and I'm going to tell you guys a story about the time that I went abroad to the Dominican Republic. Two days after staff ended last summer, I went to the Dominican Republic and part of my experience there was going to a small town called Venu. And while we were in Venu, our job was to go and try to help them build a greenhouse. I have no experience with building things. I have no experience with greenhouses. But we went in there and we did the very best we could. So one day we walked up um, to the head of the town and we said, hey, like, are we gonna build the greenhouse tomorrow? And he gave us one very simple answer and that was, if the Lord wills it. It wasn't the kind of answer we were used to. We were expecting him to say yes or no. Not a broad answer that left us kind of in the dark. And as our time went on there, we were there for three weeks, every time we asked him a question like that, he would respond with, if the Lord wills it. So if we asked, are we going to the river? He would say, if the Lord wills it. Or are we having chicken for dinner? If the Lord wills it. And for someone who loves plans and loves knowing what's gonna happen next, this was something that was frustrating to me. And it took me a long time to adjust to it. But it's one of my favorite things about that trip and about the experience. And it's definitely the thing that I've kept with me the most. There are times in our lives, like with what's happening now in our world, where we don't really know what's gonna happen. It's unexpected, it's not something that we've done before, and we're not sure what the outcome is gonna be. I didn't expect my spring or my summer to look like it has, and I don't know what's gonna come in the fall or in the next year. But something that I've tried to keep in mind is that whatever's gonna happen will be the Lord's will and the Lord's plan, and that it will end up working out for the best no matter what. And that is something that I want all of you to keep in mind. This is a stressful time, it's a time of the unknown, but it's a time that we're gonna get through, and it's a time that even though we don't know what's gonna happen, God has a plan and he's gonna help us through it no matter what. So we don't know what the future holds, but it's gonna be an amazing future and God has such amazing things in store for all of us. So what I wanna do now is close in prayer. So in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Lord, thank you for giving us the opportunity to live in a time where we are able to put such faith and such trust in you Help us to relinquish any worries that we may have about the future and about the unknown. Help us to trust in you to do what's best and to know that your will is going to work out amazing no matter what it is. And we ask all of this through the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now, just like you would if you were at camp sitting on the benches, turn to the person on your left and on your right and say, May the Lord bless you as you sleep tonight as you make the sign of the cross on their forehead. I hope you guys have an amazing night and an amazing rest of your summer. Good night. Yay!